Hey guys, um, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit about these overstayer pieces that uh, Jeff lent me. I'm really into them. Um, I've been using them on my mixes. They've been sitting here patched in to my mix bus uh, for quite some time now. Um, I'm going to start with the MAS on the bottom, which is basically a harmonic and analog distortion overdrive box. Um, I find it super useful in attaining apparent loudness in mixes, which is something people are doing more and more these days. Um, I, I certainly do in my mixes. It's part of um, my sound. And uh, I find it really useful just to kind of add a little hair on something that needs life or um, you know, it actually also is pretty cool because it has a top and a low end shelf that you can engage and they're very, um, I think they're very friendly and very musical. And the best thing about this unit is the mix, the wet dry mix knob. Um, that is incredibly useful. I got some drum soloed from the song that we have on the console and right now I have, um, the mix all the way up and I've got the input all the way up and we're all buttons out and I'm just going to show you what this thing sounds like pegged. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So again, this is every button out. This is the input all the way in. Uh, I kind of, I tried to game match the output. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty dirty. Let's try it with dual put in, same thing, here we go. Uh, it's, it's almost a little cleaner, um, as far as I can tell, as opposed to it's a little bit Transients seem to be a little more defined on the dual uh, setting. Let's try a second. So let's pull these out. Second harmonic, I think it is. So on there, it seems to me like it's a little less distorted, but it's still punchy. Now, Let's try dual and second harmonic in together. See what happens. Pretty dirty. So you might not want that on the whole kit, um, but what I would probably do is this. Let's let's roll it back 50%, and I kind of like the dual sound actually on these drums. Still a little much for me. Um, so what I would say is, let's, let's back this down next and keep it where it is. Back out. Back in. So it's pretty cool. It kind of controls, it seems to control the transients and kind of make the drum sound a little bit tighter. Um, I kind of dig that sound. Why don't we try it with the top and bottom shelves engaged so you guys can check that out. Out. I think that's a great sound. Um, So the stereo voltage, voltage control, as I understand it, is a VCA, a very versatile VCA compressor um, with harmonic uh, content. So I'm again, I'm going to put this out. I'm going to try to make this kind of um, as uh, transparent as we can to start with. Uh, and let's go with like a... Um, 
let's go with like a you know like a, a slower attack or let's just do fast attack fast uh, fast release that's wet it looks like we're getting reduction at around it's kissing 15 db and that's with a very fast attack and a very fast release threshold that's nice that's pretty usable as it is Pull this attack up a little bit and the release. So this behavior knob is pretty cool. So what it seems it seems to make you know the threshold if you know compressors work is the threshold at which it compresses and you can adjust that and the farther cl the closer you get to the uh, you know the stronger part of the signal the more it's going to compress i think this behavior knob does something it kind of works like threshold but instead of using the signal um to decide where it's going to compress i believe what it does is it actually just pushes the compressor circuitry so i'm going to turn this behavior up for a second and let you guys hear what that is. Now, if you notice, I just turned this harmonic knob down because um, we're starting to get some distortion, which is cool. It's a cool thing about this. Again, um, this has a similar kind of uh, cir circuit to me that this does, except very. Uh, this is very basic. Um, this is a harmonic knob, so you can get really dirty with that. And the farther, cl the closer you get to the, uh, you know, the stronger part of the signal the more it's going to compress i think this behavior knob does something it kind of works like threshold but instead of using the signal um to decide where it's going to compress i believe what it does is it actually just pushes the compressor circuitry so i'm going to turn this behavior up for a second and let you guys hear what that is. <laughs> Now, if you notice, I just turned this harmonic knob down because um, we're starting to get some distortion, which is cool. It's a cool thing about this. Again, um, this has a similar kind of uh, cir circuit to me that this does, except very. Uh, this is very basic. <laughs> really dirty right there's the harmonic button pressed in that's really dirty too so I'd come back here I like that on the drum bus I think it's a cool sound you know pull the harmonics up some Pull this blend down, or the wet, really. It's a great sound. And then both of them together. Well, let's dial this, this back a little bit so that we have a somewhat realistic. All right, I'm gonna engage them at the same time. Here we go. don't need the uh, MAS on this drum bus, but I think it's pretty awesome. Now, how do I use this on a mix bus? Okay, um, I'll show you how. So I'm going to unmute some stuff and kind of go through it a little bit. What I'll, what I'll do usually with a mix is I'll kind of start a baseline thing. So I'm going to go my release down here, my attack maybe in the middle for now. I'm going to engage, uh, I'm going to do my 
uh, side chain so that the very low lows don't set this thing off. Um, I'm going to have my threshold. I'm going to try and not compress too much. I'm going to try to leave this as wet as I can um, because I want to hear the compressor work. So. <laughs> this up a little bit. Uh, one setting I like here, I don't want to, uh, I don't really want to add an EQ, so I'm going to leave this off. I'm going to leave this side chain in. Uh, I, I, I've been liking 555 uh, as a basic for my starting point on my mixes with the MAS. And emphasis, I really dig emphasis um, on a mix, so. Engage. Out. Engage. Out. It's subtle, but it's effective. Um, I might turn these up a little bit. So. This thing alone is cool, but these two together does something to the mix that I can't explain. It's weird because when I engage them and bypass them, the levels are pretty well matched. Engaged together, it's almost like the mix doubles itself in some crazy way. Check it out. I very much like that sound. I think that's a really good sound for this mix. I'm gonna run this off so you guys can just kind of compare with the SSL and the clean and this guy, uh, these two guys from Overstayer. Um, thank you, Jeff, for letting us play with these. Um, they're incredible. I use them every single day in the studio.